Hi, today we will be hearing true stories from real people who decided to tell their tales of betrayal and heartbreak. Weaver of Tales podcast presents Tell Your Tales. Hi to all the listeners of Weavers of Tales. Call me by the name Jackie and today I am sharing with you my personal experience about cheating. Four years ago, I doubted myself if I can really get through the breakup I had with my ex-boyfriend. I was devastated. It feels like night every day that I just wanted to lay in bed, cry over a love song, and even not wanting to see familiar faces. I shut myself to the point that I would prefer being alone and not to talk to anybody at all. I keep asking myself, what happened? Where did I go wrong? Was it my fault? Was there anything missing? And then it hit me. I let him invade my heart. Yes, we broke up, but I haven't had a chance to hear the word sorry. I remember how it started and realized how it ended. We met eight years ago and I can still remember the first time I saw you. You went inside the office and asked me to log you in. I was busy doing my inventory and for no reason, you compliment my curly hair and then I just burst out laughing and asked you, what is that for? And we ended up introducing ourselves. You're wearing a white shirt and you look tall and neat. I can even smell your scent. As you walked out, I sighed and said, he's cute. It was after that when we both started saying hi and hello. You were nice to me and gave me the attention I never imagined someone would give me. You would ask me if I'm busy or if I took my lunch in time. You made me feel special in your own little ways. Days went by, our small talk turns into deep conversation. Our late night chats turns into dating. Our weekend turns into outings. And who would have thought that one day, we'd confess about how we really feel to each other. You see, everything started just fine for both of us. We cheer each other during hard times. We tap each other's back when we feel down. We lift each other's spirit when we feel sad. We celebrated each other's accomplishment. We feel happy when we are together. We both love to cook and we have a lot of things in common. Every day seems to be perfect. We had small fights, but we still decide to move on. There are times I felt like something is bothering you, as if you're hiding something from me, but your affections drove me to lose my sanity. I was so desperate for your love. I started imagining having someone whom I can share the rest of my life. I thought it would just go on like that. So how can I forget the first time I caught you cheating? My world was shaken. From the day I found out, I struggled to fix myself. I can't hear any words that comes out from your mouth as you were explaining. I felt like I was drowning from this deep pain. I began asking myself, am I ugly? Am I not enough? I spent several nights crying. I was thinking about holding and letting you go. But in the end, I chose to forgive you. I chose to wipe my tears. I chose to continue my journey of love with you. Hi, this is Regine, and you know how I love listening to podcasts. I've been binging on podcasts for a year when a thought came to mind. Why don't I make my podcast and tell my stories? I thought it's tough to make one until I found out about Anchor. Podcasting with Anchor is easy as one, two, three. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Plus, Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. The best part is, you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. So what are you waiting for? 
Download the free Anchor app now or go to anchor.fm to get started. You made me believe it won't happen again. So I started picking those pieces back. I prayed for healing and I asked God to guide us always. As they said, love is sweeter the second time around. I know it was hard in the beginning, but we both knew we tried. We risked for another shot. And again, I fell in love with you. Remember when I heard about your child to your ex? I didn't say anything at all. I keep it to myself and I waited for you to explain how can you not told me. You think you can just get away from your responsibility as a father and just pretend that you don't owe your ex an apology for not giving sufficient support. You didn't even think how would I feel. Maybe this is not new for you, but for me, it feels like I need to run away from everything without knowing where to go. How can I accept the fact that you need to see your child every now and then? How can I stand seeing you having a conversation with your ex? How can I explain to my parents that you had a child? All these questions keep bothering me. But you just said that it was in the past and that if you could only get back to those times you failed to be a father to your child, you would do the right thing. I felt a twist in your words. I sensed a secret in the way you avoided my eyes. All of a sudden, I felt scared. I doubt about your real intentions for not letting me know these hidden secrets of yours. The truth is, love changes us all the time. In love, you always have a choice, and I chose to fight for you. I told myself, if ever you were a mistake, I would still commit in picking you up until it began sounding right. I trusted you again and I decided to accept your past. You even said that you wanted to keep us moving. I can't let this ruin our relationship. I still have a little fight left on me. I never thought that my love for you will go that far. And maybe that's one of the reasons you felt that you can always have me back. And that after everything that had happened, I will stay by your side and be the person whom you can rely. For months, we've been good. We reconciled and promised to be honest with each other. I tried to bury your mistakes so perfectly as if they never happened. It was a lazy afternoon on October 22. How will I forget that day? It was a week before my birthday. I received a text from an unknown number. The text says, quote unquote, Really? How can you not tell her that I exist? You promised to break up with her. And as I read those messages, I froze and tears fell into my eyes. Perhaps... I was never ready for another heartache. I must admit, at this time, it hurts more. I spent a couple of hours in silence. I was tired. I was exhausted. The next morning I woke up, I knew I was no longer the same person I was. I wanted to confront you. I wanted to tell you that I can't insist in your cheating heart that's no longer pounding for me. I texted you and asked if we can talk. The moment you arrived, I knew I lost all my strength and courage to say every words that I wanted to tell you. You asked what's bothering me, and I just leaned in your shoulder and told you that there's nothing wrong, and that I just wanted to have a long ride. Yes, I kept it to myself. I carried the pain silently. Loving you made me selfish. I stopped minding about what other people would think. I ended up choosing you over my family. I thought, by giving you everything, you will crave more of me. But why do I keep losing you? Maybe 
I wasn't aware that I was not enough. As I was staring at your sleeping face, it's difficult to decide if it's still worth a try. Despite knowing your flaws, why can't I love you? Since then, it has always been the gist of our arguments. I hate the way I forgave you so easily. I hate that I trusted you all over again. I hate the way I believed that you are completely all for her. I hate that somehow a part of me refuses to accept the reality. You are now texting me late. You no longer ask how my days went. Suddenly, you stop caring for me. I don't want to acknowledge your coldness, but I could feel it. I guess you will never understand the pain, not until the time you hear the words you didn't want to hear. That night, you texted me that you have stopped loving me. I ask, since when? And then you replied, I am no longer happy with you. I tried calling you, but your phone could no longer be reached. You even blocked me in Messenger. It became the last thing I heard from you. I never even had the chance to have my last glance with you. I never got the chance to watch you leave. For a moment, I realized I completely lost you. I still don't get it. This is not how I wanted us to end. It's like the ending we both heard but no one had said. You quickly build your own walls that even though how much I tried to get back to you, you didn't give me the chance. You just left me. You left me without saying the word sorry. Yes, I wanted to hear that so badly. But you know what hurts me the most? I knew you loved me. I felt it. I did. But you still decided to chose her. I waited for you to come back. I waited for you to beg for forgiveness. I waited so I can hear your voice again. I waited so I can see your face again. I waited for so long that it took a year for me to get back to my senses and just accept that you're no longer the person I knew. I admit it. The pain still lingers me. But I want you to know that I didn't regret any of it. For I knew I made you happy. You see, I never had the closure. I just accepted the fact that I'm not worth an explanation. This story will be continued on our season 2 for Tell Your Tales. If you like the story, click the subscribe button. We'd love to hear from you. So if you have any feedback, questions, suggestions, you can send us a voice message through the link or message us on our Facebook page, River of Tales Podcast. Follow us also on our Instagram account and YouTube channel for other updates. Just search for Weaver of Tales Podcast and don't forget to click like and subscribe. For story submissions, please email us at weaveroftalespodcast at gmail.com. Have a happy weekend.